So hi guys, in this video I'll be telling you how to install Ancient OS 7.0 based on Android 13 for MI11 Xelmi K40 the Poco F3. So the prerequisites are you need to have an unlock boot loader and you have to stay on an MIUI ROM and you'll have to remove your MI account, you have to remove your Google accounts and you will have to remove your password and security. And you also have TWRP pre-installed. After that, uh, you should be having these two files in your internal storage is the uh, ancient OS 13 ROM zip and the firmware part. Once you have everything, we can reboot into recovery. Let's reboot our phone into recovery by clicking on reboot and we'll keep on pressing the power up button. So let's head into wipe, advanced wipe and then let's select our daily card cache and then swipe to wipe. Once that is done, we can go back, we can go to install. We have to select the firmware part and then swipe to confirm flash. So once your firmware has been installed, we can go back, we can go to install and we have to select our ROM zip and select automatically the flash TWRP after flashing a ROM and swipe to confirm flash. So once it's installed, we can check for errors. The ROM has been flashed successfully and the recovery has also been flashed successfully. The failed to mount errors can be ignored. Let's go back, let's go to wipe, let's go to format data and then type in yes. This will result in wiping out all your data. Once that is done, we can click on reboot system. So the ROM has been booted. You can click on get started and do the initial setup. So here is it, our ROM is booted. Let's put it to 120 Hz. We have Dolby Atmos pre installed, that's pretty nice. And we have the MI11X camera, I mean, we have the MI's camera, that's nice. And we have 4K 30fps, 1080p 60fps, and many more options. And this is the MI camera, so this is pretty good. And the Android version is 13. And the kernel they're using is OGK kernel. That's a pretty good kernel. Let's go to the ancient features. Add-ons, we have a ancient UI switch. We can change the default clocks and we have header image. We have status bar customization and under status bar we have a status bar item tuner. We can remove and add anything we want like let me just remove the Wi-Fi and it's gone. And under logo we have we can display the logo we want and under other state other settings we have 5G 4G icon that's nice we have the battery percentage style we can change the battery to anything we, we want so that's nice we have the charging icons have so much customization here under themes we have dark theme that's nice we have quick setting styles we can change it to any styles we want we have dual tone it makes the setting background rounded and let's go to quick settings we have the bright brightness control that's nice and this one's pretty good
under buttons we have volume percentage and swap capital buttons and volume rocker wave and let's look at this that's nice we have a good animation there so that's a good animation and under power menu we have restart advanced restart options like we click on advanced we can reboot to recovery bootloader or system ui that's nice and under gestures we have uh, aosp gestures that's nice under navigation bar we have pulse pulse is nothing but it'll just show it'll just show the readings of your music the graph of your music and that's nice under lock screen we have temperature unit we can change it to celsius or fahrenheit that's that's nice you have ID, aod icons in lock screen that's also nice under smart pixels we have uh, we can enable smart pixels we can reduce the battery consumption that's nice and under wave locker can block sensors can kill the background processes and battery bar when charging under miscellaneous we have unlock high fps in games there's nothing but spoofing the fps to 90 or 120 in supported games netflix spoof alarm blocker parallel space we can create a new space for our phone Under animations, we have screen animation. We can change it to anything. An animation style. We have the charging animation too. That's pretty nice. We also have the game space, which how we can enhance our gaming. We have. We can add any apps we want. That's nice. Now let's run the Geekbench test for Mi11x on this ROM. So we've got our Geekman scores and the single core is 2,216 and the multi core is 3,312. That's pretty nice. And now let's perform the CPU throttle test. So well, at the starting we've got 90 to 100% it's stable, but afterwards the graph fell to 80% while it was stable. So that's nice. So if the video helped you on how to install Ancient OS, please like, share and subscribe. Bye.